Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of IOTA has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators RSI, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price dipped down with around 4.4%, but then came quickly up again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 24.4 cents. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 51, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, there was a bullish divergence and the price already went up. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Jumping to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 39, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. time.